What you diddly bear? Even you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi guys and girls, so looking like an absolute hot mess because guess what? I'm an absolute hot mess. It is boiling still. <laughs> Healthy breakfast. Um so I've just been sat here trying to find the willpower to edit my Halloween haul. I really want to, I'm just very tired. Um my belly button is not in a good way it's quite red and sore so i'm going to send a picture to my piercer now and just see what they say um but i think it is just where it's so hot um so today the plan really was to go home post some spooky box stuff which i sold um and then we're going to the other house which has the pool um so that was going to be the plan for today <sighs> and then i went on pre-love and i saw some african snails that needed a home and that was in chichester so i was like oh i could go get them and then go to home sense but then the snail lady never actually replied to my message so now i'm going to tk max because i couldn't go to home sense I've also just been laid here watching Treacle Tat's Halloween vlog and I was like, <laughs> I need to go back. Okay, so I've just spoken to my piercer, hence why it's now like an hour later, because um, they said basically the top ball was digging too far into my skin. So I've put this plaster now so that it kind of pulls the ball out a bit more. So it's not digging, in, digging into my skin but I've just had a realization that this happened before but when it happened I changed it for a longer bar which was changed way before it was ready to be changed um, and it hurt less but then it just never healed so I'm really hoping this will just sort it out so I don't have to change it too early today I'm wearing this dress which I just spilled water down these necklaces, um, this ex one dress, and it's you can't see it very well from here, but it's the f like most recent fairy one that has these big like long tendrils that come off of it that I'm now sitting on. These long tendrils. <laughs> so I started this morning while I was getting ready. I packed all my bags to go to the other house. Um, but I started watching Ashley O'Neill's Halloween vlog and now I need to go back to TK Maxx because I can't cope. Oh, I have a problem. But um, her vlog's amazing and something I've been meaning to for ages, which I just hadn't got around to, is like becoming part of her Patreon. Um, so I sorted that out this morning as well. So I'll leave her channel down below if you haven't heard of her or checked her out before. But she does very similar star videos to what I do. Um, and she also has a Patreon, which is a very good value um, and a great way to support a small YouTuber. Yes, I've joined that this morning, although my first payment doesn't come out till September. So let's get spooky. Okay, so complete change of plan. I was on my way to TK Maxx and Sainsbury's to get water, and then I got a text from this lady who was on pre loved who had some African snails that she just wanted to get rid of. Um, and so I was like, I messaged her and asked them if they were available, and she didn't reply, so that's why I head off to headed off to Waterlooville. And I was halfway there, and she messaged to say, Yes, they are. So I said, Okay, um, let me know what dress you are and I'm like on my way um so then I called my friend Alex who is currently working in, and I've got to go okay this guy came and said I was in the wrong place I had to move so now the plan is basically to go to Chichester to go to Home Sense and go to Sainsbury's and hopefully by then this lady will have replied giving me a dress so I can go pick up some snails so that's the plan basically still waiting for Alex to finish his work and just thought I'd do a bit of my knitting. This is how it is 
going so far. So it's getting there. Definitely not long enough yet, though. <sighs> Haven't heard back from the snail lady. Ah, uh, some sense. Replied. Hi guys, so I my phone died basically, so I will update you in a moment. I've just got to the house of the pool because it's just too hot, I can't cope anymore. Um, all my necklaces are just oh, so just gonna take all my stuff through and then I will update you on the craziness of today. Okay, so right <laughs> let's start the beginning update on my belly button what um i've done is basically put a squishy dressing behind the ball to push it out and then a tape dressing to push it up so that the ball is no longer like in my skin if that makes sense okay so an update as to what happened today are you okay there What's wrong? What's wrong? So, basically, I was going to go to Sainsbury's so I could get um, some water and some cheese. And there's also a TK Maxx right next to it. And I'd been watching Ashling and Trico Tat's Halloween videos. I was like, I want to go Halloween shopping. So I was on my way there. Backstory, last night I was on Pre-Loved and I saw this lady had put up a box of African snails and she just said, she put it up three weeks ago, she said she'd just leave them outside for anyone who wants them, thank you. I know, it was horrendous. So <laughs> I messaged her last night and she didn't reply and I was just like, oh, to be fair, it's been three weeks, they've probably gone by now, hopefully. So I was oh, like, well, five minutes into my journey on the way to Sainsbury's and TK Maxx and she messaged and said I could get them today. So I went the opposite direction towards Chichester, which is where my home sense is. So I was like, look, I can still go to home. Well, I can still go Halloween shopping. Um, there's a Sainsbury's opposite home sense, so I can do it then. So off I head in that direction. On the way is my friend Alex's work. So I was like, cool, I'll pick him up <laughs> while I'm there. Um, so I got to his work, waited for him to finish, picked him up, and she still wouldn't send me her dress. She was telling me all about them, like that they were in a tub and stuff. 
but she wouldn't tell me her address. So I was like, you need to tell me your address, otherwise I cannot go, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, picked up Alex, went to HomeSense. To be honest, I was quite disappointed with HomeSense. Let me just get what I got from HomeSense. So there wasn't this like fortune teller ball thing, which actually was there. I like played with it last time I went to TK Maxx. And I didn't buy it because I didn't think I wanted it. And then the more I thought about it, the more I wanted it. So I was hoping they would have that. But I was quite disappointed by the range. There was just nothing that great other than this. So, and this was a super good price as well. I got this cute little kind of very vintage looking black cat. He's just in like a sitting position. He's like a similar style to the black cats they've been bringing out the last couple of years. Um, he's got his foot in like a resting <laughs> position. And then he's got like the very kind of almost Joanna Parker-esque party theme going on with the, the pumpkin like orange party hat and this little frill. But he's, he's quite cute. He's a nice size. He's a very like easy size to try and find a home for. And he was 4 99 which I thought was a really good price. Um, obviously he's a black cat so I loved it um, and he's a bit vintagey and I loved his little look he's like so cheeky he's just he knows he's like yes I like you know you shouldn't be bad me but you're gonna bad me so yeah I'm gonna come home with you so yeah this is all I got from home sense I didn't bother going to the range because we went then went to McDonald's which is when my I realized my phone was so flat she messaged me while I was in McDonald's saying um here's my address um come soon so it's like okay cool so <laughs> i then like shoveled my food dropped alex back off um and then went and she wasn't actually in chichester she said she was in she lived in chichester which is where my home sense was but actually she was halfway back home again so i didn't really need to go to home sense but it's okay and i picked up the snails oh my god i'm gonna show you like <laughs> I know there's going to be people out there who are also like super into animal welfare as well and you're going to be shocked by this and I genuinely feel so bad for them. I've got them in here, well this is what they came in but I've got these plates on top because, let me put these plates back, they are in this flat box with no light coming in from the top, barely any light in the sides hardly any space for digging right come on kitten look you need to move okay oh she's just gonna jump back up again i bet you but the lid doesn't even shut her it's just placed on there and this is the condition that they're kept in look how dried out that all is and they're so so underweight you can see and there's one in the pot there's no heat lamp there's no anything so what i'm gonna do is move that bag out of the way mike's gone to go buy them uh, they're called really useful boxes and they're like really thick plastic with big clips on them so mike's currently out buying those but i have got them some greenery um, and I'm gonna make the soil a bit more moist because I'm just gonna move one soil, one lot of soil from one to the other. Floor width wise, this is long enough for snails, but I prefer them to have height. Really? I'm just slouching it around to make sure that the water has gone all the way through. Um, and also to check that there's no eggs in here because keeping um, lots of them together. Now, the only thing I'm concerned with is there's all these like little stones in in the dirt. See, it's a lot more wet now. Um, now, you shouldn't really put sand in with snails, but this doesn't feel too cool. So I've never seen this um, type of of soil used um, and I usually use spider life which is really soft but actually it doesn't feel too too rough I found a piece of lettuce left over and what looks like it was a potato and a bit of a cuttle bone so that is very promising to see that they did have something 
but um, not much. I'm gonna give these guys a little bath, see if I can find something for them to go in, just so they can have a little soak. Got a little bath. Um, I've given all of their shelves a clean, and actually their shelves do look really nice. Um, and put like a layer of greenery and they should be okay in there until Mike comes home and we can get a new one of those. So I'm basically now doing a vegetable frenzy. So I've put loads of different types of vegetables in here um, and seeing which ones they like. Not only will this help fatten them up and get them back used to eating and checking that dig digestion is okay. Yay, just checking you're okay. Um, it also helped me see what kind of things they do like eating, things that they may avoid. My ones at school love potatoes. Um, they care not for any types of lettuce, but it looks like these ones are quite interested in the lettuce. And this guy is definitely enjoying the potato. Look at those eyes. <laughs> he looks like a cat. But he's enjoying that. This guy's just looking around like, anything else? Any fruit? Um, they love fruit, but fruit just, oh, it's horrendous with fruit flies, so I try and keep to vegetables. But... These ones are definitely enjoying the lettuce. I don't know, he's thinking about going back. We'll see. Bang as well, you can start to see if they do have any damage to their shells. So you can see that this one actually has um, a crack in his shell. It looks like maybe a fingernail. Um, and the ends of their, the ends of their shells are quite damaged, which it depends where they came from. Cause quite often when they are this small and they're in like pet shops they get smashed around together and that's what causes their shells to do that um and if this one has a crack too their shells oh, and another one there i think they've all got some damage but not horrific and nothing that's going to affect their lives um just hopefully all their digestion and stuff is still okay um but they seem to be enjoying their food other than this one is not eating much. Oh no, she's got something. You can see how hungry this one is. <laughs> Look, oh, and this one's going for the uh, the potato too. Sit on the lettuce over there. Now move to the cucumber. Okay, so basically I've learnt that they have eaten a little bit of everything other than the broccoli so i've already still put everything into their new house and just monitor and if they still don't touch the broccoli after like 24 hours i'll take it out um but these ones now in a little kiss um but yeah they've all been ferociously chomping away at things so i think these two are now just like oh my tummy is full i have loads of energy to slither around this is their new temporary house it's the same make as the ones that my my other snails currently live in my laptop down there um it's just a little bit smaller i've just been talking to a lady on facebook who has kind of the same floor size but taller and it's an exo umbra so not an exo umbra that's my clothing brand that i enjoy it's an exo terror <laughs> Um, and it's like a glass one and it will blend in like match all the other ones mm -hmm. that we have So when we do move out, it will go really nicely with all the other ones. Oh My goodness There's a baby snail in there There's a baby snail There definitely wasn't any eggs when I checked out Oh my goodness, look at this.
This is the size of my hand. <clears throat> well, that's different. Never had a baby snail before. Um, well, this is their new house for now. It's dark in here, but there. Uh, what about just seeing if there's any other baby snails that just happen to turn up? Um, so, well, that's exciting. Can we just look at this snail? <laughs> I've never had a baby snail before. Um, here are the other ones with all their food and stuff. That white stuff is just calcium stuff that I spread it around. I literally checked and there were no eggs in there. There was definitely no eggs. So this guy must have already hatched. But I was speaking to a lady about getting that exoterra and she actually has two. Um, so I'm thinking, well, one of my stick insects passed away because it came to the end of its life cycle. So now plants have changed again. I probably get the two exo exoterras, not exoombras, put these guys in the biggest one, put my new stick insect that I'm going to get in the middle size one, and the small one that my old insect was in can be the home for this baby boy or girl. I'm going to have to do some research now about baby snails. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you enjoy the shade, and I will see you next time. Bye!